what the mind believes the body achieves, your mindset is incredibly powerful. In fact, it is your most powerful asset. And when you wield it properly, you really truly can do anything. Hi, I'm Coach Tony, and thank you for joining me. And before you scroll to the next video, hang out with me for a little while, and I promise it'll be worthwhile. Your mindset is like the captain of your ship. Wherever you turn and pivot, the ship is going to change direction and course correct. And the slightest change in mindset can completely change the trajectory of your ship. Another cool analogy is your mindset is like the general and the cells of your body are like the army or the soldiers. So the soldiers of your body aren't going to take action or go in a certain direction, either consciously or unconsciously, until the general tells them where to go exactly. So when you have a powerful mindset, you could truly do anything. And that's what I'm going to share with you on today's video is how to foster a very powerful mindset for yourself. If you think you can, you're halfway there. If you think you can't, you're in despair. So I love that saying because truly, if you think you can do something, then at least you're going to give it a shot or at least you'd be more motivated to try it out, right? But if you think you can't do something, you're less likely to even try, right? It's like you're taking yourself out of the game. So the first concept I really want to share on today's video for you is what is the self-dialogue going on inside of your mind right now? What does your mindset look like in regards to the area of life that you want to change or the goal that you're going after? So number one, if you don't even have a goal, that's kind of number one. You want to have a goal and it's got to be something you really want because if it's a would be nice to have, you're likely not going to go after it. It's not enough to kind of push you towards it. It's got to be something you really want to go after. Like for instance, I'm sharing on my page a lot of my workouts and my powerlifting kind of journey. In fact, I'm going after a new goal of the thousand pound club. And that's basically a total of your bench, deadlift, and squat to equal a thousand pounds, kind of like a powerlifting term. But I, that's my very first powerlifting goal as a 42 year old, you know, dad of four plant based powerlifter. <laughs> that's one of my very first goals when it comes to this, because I want to show people that you can do anything that you set your mind to, regardless of if you're injured, if you are older or anything else you may think is limiting you. If you can course correct your mindset, then you're already halfway there. Okay. So number one is start paying attention to the words you're using that may be limiting you, especially the I can't, the I won't, the I'm a failure or I quit. It's impossible. It'll never happen for me. Or this always happens to me, or it has always been this way and I can't change it. Right. Nothing is ever permanent in your life. You can choose to change anything in your life at any given point in time. And it starts with the way you're looking at it. So if your self-dialogue is primarily, I can't do it, I won't do it, I'm too old, my knee hurts, my back hurts, you know, any limiting thing, I'm injured, my family history doesn't line up, whatever it is for you, understand that your mindset is dictating the trajectory of where you're going in that particular area. So if you can shift it and you could start to challenge your self-dialogue, that's kind of step number one. So catch yourself if you're using limited words, okay? That's step number one. Step number two is start shifting your self-dialogue. Start using more empowered words like, what if I could? What if it could be possible for me to reach XYZ goal? What if I could make more money? What if I could lose weight? What if I could get stronger? What if I could meet Mr. or Mrs. Right, right? What if I could? That's a very empowering phrase to start using, okay? To go a bit deeper and a little bit more powerful of a phrase is how can I? How can I go after this, right? How can I pursue this? How can I orient your mind in a way that you start to look for the possibilities rather than the impossibilities, okay? There's another quick idea I want to share with you about your mindset. We all have something called a reticular activating system, your RAS system. Your reticular activating system is basically the filter that you're looking and viewing your life through. Okay, it's almost like a lens. So if I were to say to you, hey, look around the space you're in right now, whether you're in your office or at home or wherever you're listening to this video, and if I were to say, hey, look for all the blue objects or things in your area, 
what happens is you're telling your reticular activating system to filter out all the other colors and to start paying way more attention to the blue things in your area. And what's going to happen is over the next few minutes, you're going to notice a lot more blue things around that you may not have ever noticed actually, right? And because we weren't really looking for them. Or if I were to say, look for a white Chevy Silverado truck, then everywhere you drive, you are going to start to notice white trucks and then white Silverados and a lot more of them. You're going to notice there's a ton of them out there because now you're oriented to looking for them. All right. And this is usually a subconscious idea. So a lot of times you're not really paying attention, but you can start to control your RAS system with your self dialogue. So if your self dialogue right now has a lot of limited words, like I can't, I won't, all the things we talked about just a moment ago, then your RAS system is oriented to not even trying to not even going after the thing that it is that you want in that area. Right? So if you can start to orient your RAS system to I can and how can I and what if I could, like the more empowered self-talk, then you're already halfway there. I truly, this is like the first step, okay? And it doesn't matter if you own a business, if you work a job, if you're you know trying to lose weight, it doesn't matter, like I said, whatever area of life this applies to. So just simply apply it to the area you're going after most dominantly right now. So in that area, what do you think has been limiting you so far? And can we start to get a more empowered perspective around those limitations? And can we start to, you know, eliminate those limitations and turn them into a limitless type of thinking? Okay. That's actually what I call this with my coaching clients is this is limitless thinking. You really can have do or be anything within reason, of course, but you really truly can. And if you think something is impossible right now, it's only because you haven't ever done it before. I guarantee you, if somebody else has done it, it's not impossible for you. You can do it too, okay? No matter what you are telling yourself right now. So so that's kind of the next step, right? Step two is how can I start to become more empowered with my mindset in this area, okay? You're already gonna be starting to shift you know, as a captain of your ship, you're going to be shifting and pivoting your ship tremendously with this change of thinking. So if you keep going with this though, and it's not just how can I, but you actually have an actionable plan that is within reason from where you are right now. So everything is relative in our life, right? So let's just say you've never worked out and you want to start bench pressing 300 pounds. Well, you're not going to just jump in the ring with Muhammad Ali, so to speak, right? You got to start working out first before you can even think about touching 300 pounds. You got to think about touching 100 pounds first, right? And then 105 and 110, and you progressively go to the next reasonable spot and level, right? So this is the idea with whatever goal it is that you that you have. So immediately, what I want you to do is write down on a piece of paper, okay, what is your goal? It's got to be exciting. It's got to jazz you up. Like if you accomplish this goal, it will truly change your life. It'll make you way happier in that area, okay? So write that down for yourself. And then what you're going to do is you're going to write down all the thoughts you're currently having about it. And if you uncover some limited thoughts, we're going to start to change those and flip them on their head and start to write, all right, well, how can I achieve this? Or, you know, with this limitation, how can I still make progress in this area for myself? What do I need to think in order to get closer to this goal? These are all ideas that will help you start shifting your mindset. But ultimately what we're trying to do is get you from a victim-based mindset to a victor-based mindset. A victory, baby, right? The hero of your story. You want to become the hero or heroine of your story, not the victim. You don't want to keep reliving the same results and, and then your self-talk just kind of continues to justify why you've always ever gotten the same results in that area or why things haven't been fair for you in that area. No, that's going to keep you stuck forever. We've got to break out of that limited mindset. We've got to break from victim to victor, okay? So the idea here is you can be the hero or heroine in your own life story. And you can literally start to write and script out how you want your life to go from here on out. Do you want to continue to be a victim? No, you only got one shot here at this particular life that we're living. You might as well make the best of it and go after it. And 
quiet down that part of you that's always kept you stuck and challenge it. Break past it. Start thinking limitlessly in that area. That's how you're going to start to make a shift. Okay. But if you can write down what would be ideal, like if you can write a story for your life right now for the next several months or the next year, let's say the rest of 2024, what if you could write a story of how you'd love it to look, right? What would be ideal? Write down that story for yourself and then literally see, all right, well, what do I need to do in order for this to actually come true? What would I need to think? What actions would I need to take? How would I need to feel? I, I would need to be more jazzed up about that area of my life. I would need to be thinking more empowered and limitlessly, right? More in possibility instead of impossibility. You want to be in the realm of possibilities, right? And more taking action that is moving the needle in that direction for yourself, okay? So again, no matter what goal you have, this is how you get there. You've got to orient your ship, right? You've got to orient the captain of your ship. You've got to be the general that is leading the army of your body's cells in the direction of wherever you're going, okay? I hope this makes sense for you. And if it does, please let me know in the comments below because I love reading your comments and I really, truly, I want my videos to change your life. And I swear to you, every intention behind every video I've ever recorded has the possibility to change the course of your life. They all contain an aha moment I've had in my own life and a lot of my clients have had that have shifted our results dramatically, right? And that's what I want for you as well. I want you to know that you don't have to continue getting the same results over and over again. You can change your life dramatically at any given point in time. And it just takes listening into videos like this, reminding yourself of who you truly are. You're a limitless being living in a physical body with a mind that can Go after anything, right? Like Walt Disney said, right? If you can hold it on the screen of your imagination, then you can hold it in your hand. Like your imagination, your mind is incredibly powerful. It's time you start to wield it and leverage it the way we were meant to. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel because a lot of awesome things are coming down the pike in the next several weeks and several months ahead here. So I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to announce some of the things I've been working on. So stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for being here. I really, truly appreciate you and your support. It means the world to me. The more people that like this video or share it and watch it, then the more YouTube will show it to other people. And that's truly all I want is I just want to help as many people, millions of people on planet earth here, uh, just change their life and understand that they can do anything. You can do anything. And I just want to help inspire and motivate people in that direction. Okay. So with that, I will see you in the next video and I hope you have an amazing day.